Why do people betray each other? If you can't trust anyone, then everyone should die. But welcome to my kingdom? That seems extreme. <laughs> anyway, hello. <laughs> we are playing Virtue's Less Reward today. This is the intro. Ooh. Oh, interesting. So it doesn't look like it's strictly visual novel. It looks like a... Sorry, I'm, I'm going back and forth. <laughs> Um, it looks kind of like, um, Rain Code with the 3D models, which is interesting because I was expecting visual novel, like 999. Choices you make in the future influence the past. Is that Clover? Sorry, I keep, I keep, uh, going back and forth like this. I'll stop. So, what's it gonna be? Will you choose to ally? Or to betray? Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, hello, hello. <laughs> and welcome to Virtue's Last Reward. This is game number two in the Zero Escape trilogy. Um, I played a 999... I think it was... A year and a half ago now, actually. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, so long that I had to kind of skim through a recap video on what happened in 999 because I couldn't remember. And I, I wanted to at least kind of remember the other game before I went into this. I don't know if it's connected. I don't know if the characters are the same or I have no idea. But um, basically, 999 was interesting <laughs> uh i played the whole thing you can find it i will link the playlist um virtue last reward will be in the same playlist but if you want to go back and watch 999 basically there were nine people stranded on a boat and they had nine hours to escape before they die kind of thing um these games are created by spike chunsoft which who are the creators of danganronpa it's gonna play again <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the intro is going to play again because I'm yapping. I'm just going to click onto the option so that it it won't play. Um, basically, what was I saying? <laughs> um, in When I played 999, I struggled a little bit. And that's putting it uh, mildly. I got um, thrown off by all the numbers and the digital roots and all these things like I'm not a number person at all <laughs> so I struggled immensely but I did get every single ending like I spent over nine hours just getting endings in that game and I had the most fun getting the endings because that was where the story really took off like before we were kind of just constantly solving puzzles and like okay come on like what's the story here where's the meat of the story and we got that at the end with all the endings so like if you want to go see it you can go watch me do all the endings it is over nine hours long <laughs> which is um kind of beautiful in a way that the the final me getting all the endings was nine hours and the game is called 999 and everything's nine <laughs> i think it, there was even nine part nine videos that i made of that game but um it was kind of a short game i mean cons all things considered it seemed like it was quite short but basically sorry i'm going off on a tangent but basically what happened was we played as Junpei who he was connected to his friend Akane's younger self in the past so he was sent into the nonary games in order to rescue the past Akane it, there's so many there's time warps it's it's a bit confusing but uh in the best ending or true ending um everybody escaped However, they never saw Akane or her brother Aoi, who was Santa, in 999. Uh, so, like, the two of them, the siblings, escaped together, while Junpei and the rest kind of escaped with each other. I think, though, if I'm remembering correctly, Snake died in the... in the... 
in the incinerator. <laughs> and so did Ace, who was like a bad guy. He was doing some really shady stuff and like killing and kidnapping children, you know, like some crazy stuff. But I have no idea what to expect for this game. Sorry, I've been talking about it for like five minutes. I should just shut up. But I don't know if it's connected. I I have no idea. I have no idea if we're doing the same kind of thing. If it has the same characters. I mean, it, they mostly look like different characters except the one who looks like Clover who was in 999. I guess we'll see. Um, but I don't think Junpei is in this. I think we're somebody else. But we, you know what? I, I don't know. We're going in blind and... I'm gonna warn you now. <laughs> my puzzle solving might not be the best. Um, also, if it's too loud, um, definitely let me know. I think it's okay. The game itself is extremely loud. Like in my headphones, it's very loud. I had to lower my computer volume to like 10 <laughs> because it, and it's still so loud. So if it's too loud, um, just let me know. I think it's okay though. But anyway, we're going to start from the beginning. I have no idea what to expect. Yeah, I'm excited, but also very scared <laughs> because I'm not very good at puzzle games. I like to think I'm smart, but mm. December 25th, 2028. That's actually not far from now. It's 2024. What? Huh? No, zero. So... In 999, Zero was Akane, and she set up the whole thing in order to be like, in order, <sighs> this it's so confusing with the timelines, but basically Akane was Zero, and she was Zero because she had to set up this game in order to get Junpei in the incinerator so that he could connect with her past self and save her from burning to death. Um, I did see on the recap video I watched, sorry, I'm going off again. Um, there was a comment someone had said that it was interesting how when you were going towards a bad ending in 999, Akane would kind of start getting a bad fever and she would be like burning up. And that kind of mirrors the fact that she would have burned in the incinerator. And I thought that was an awesome idea. Like, I didn't even think of that when I played it. So we'll see. Sigma. Sigma? Mm. Ugh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the hell am I? Are we on a boat again? It looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Sorry. <laughs> when I was adjusting the voices, that that's what the voice was every time I went to make the volume louder. Isn't that obvious? Yeah. Who the hell are you? Um, hello? Right. Okay. Let's try a different track here. Where the hell are we? Also, while you're at it, why? No response? Are you always this friendly or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? I'm plenty friendly. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Hey, it looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Sigma seems kind of, hmm, kind of a little on the fence of being a jerk. Don't know. It's so weird seeing them as like 3D models. I'm so used to just a visual novel style. Hmm. Well, could be worse, I guess. You could have said, Actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they could conduct grotesque human experiments. That's probably where you are. Right. Back to the first question, then. 
Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. He's Sigma? I thought I was Sigma. Or is my mouse in the way? Should I take it off? Cute. But look, why is my name Sigma? And her name is Sigma. That's my name. Ooh, I wonder if they're all like... They were all kidnapped and they were all given like these... I don't want to say false memories, but like... They were all given the same identity. Like, you're all just pawns, you know? Like, you're pawn number one. You're pawn number two. You're Sigma. Everyone's Sigma. <laughs> I'm asking you what... Wait a second. How do you know my name? I haven't met you before, have I? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? I mean, you could do, you could do it with more feeling or something. Uh, I just know it, okay? Oh, never mind, she did. <laughs> hey. No need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! Grandpa? Grandpa? Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. Hmm. Maybe they knew each other from before? Like, I'm sure there's like a memory wipe situation. Also, she's wearing a bracelet. So, I think... I think there's some, uh, nonary game business silliness going on. Hold on a second. What do second. you think this thing is? What? Huh? this bracelet Ooh, interesting so she's number three which is which is kind of ironic she's number three and she looks a lot like santa did right they have the exact same color scheme but hers says pear hmm. see you've got one too they're pretty much identical y yeah yeah you're right Oh, I have three, too. Are we a pair? Where'd they come from? It was on already when I woke up. Ooh, so that's interesting. This time, we're we're in pairs, instead of everyone has their own number. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No. It's just got a three and the word pair. <laughs> What is this? Hmm? Is he like in pain? God. What are you doing? Trying to get it off. Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. What about these buttons on the side? I pressed them, but nothing happened. Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining her. Hey, look! What? There's something on that screen over there. Wait. What? I'm sorry, How what is- you feel? Disturbed. What are you? A rabbit? I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! 
Zero the what now? Huh? Zero has pupils? And descendants? <laughs> what? What the hell is that? A rat? But clearly that's a rabbit. Are you blind? <laughs> Look at his ears! Uh, no. Pretty sure it's a rabbit. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. I do. It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play. No. We're gonna go right into the puzzle solving, aren't we? <laughs> a game? Yes, yes, yes. And I'm calling it. Oh boy, here we go. Ambidex edition! Ambidex edition? What does that mean? Like, pair edition? Like, because ambidextrous means you can both hands, right? So ambidex probably means two, or pair. Mm. There's more to it! Lots more! If I told you now, that'd be cheating. So, hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. Why why am I having Monokuma flashbacks? <laughs> hey, hold on. Who the hell Alright. I forgot to tell you the most important thing. This elevator you're in? We're gonna have to escape the elevator. It's gonna fall in a few minutes. No. Paul? Yes, indeedy. So you better get moving. I'll see you later. Have a nice trick. Have a nice trick. Why have a nice trick? Yeah, yeah. See you next fall. That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. I'm just gonna hope that the this girl, my pair, is smarter than I am. Damn it. God damn it. It's nonsense. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Ah, oh, well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? Come on, just nod or something. I don't want to die here any more than you. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about uh, our main character here. Seek a way out. I'm, I'm scared. I'm very scared. Because I'm not good at seeking a way out. The game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. The goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. Thank you. First, click anything on the screen that catches your attention. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor across the screen. Huh. Okay. Clearly this caught my attention first. When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. To return to your normal view from zoom mode, press the escape key, drag downward, or click the cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. What the hell is this stupid thing? It's huge. Is it an ATM? Hmm. I see. Then do you think the safe down here is stuffed with cash? That would be nice. No, it wouldn't! We have bigger problems than money right now! Like, I don't know, getting the hell out of here! Well, you don't have to yell about it. There is a strange, mysterious device in the far side of the elevator. Okay. Uh, is there nothing else I could click on here? 
I can't push this button. Pull the lever, Kronk. Okay. To exit zoom mode, just... Okay, yeah, I did that already. If you need help with controls, blah, blah. I probably shouldn't skip the tutorial. <laughs> then click the yellow help. Okay. Fire extinguisher directions. Oh. Huh. So there's a key in the fire extinguisher. Where's the fire extinguisher? Open. This looks like a case for a fire extinguisher. Let me see if I can open it. Damn. No good. Is it locked? It looks that way, yeah. Hmm. So we have to find the key. It's red, so maybe there's something red around here. How do I... That's not what I meant to do. How do I move... Oh! Oh, I can move it like this. Why is there a baby? <laughs> a baby, huh? Yeah, looks like it. During an escape, you were given the opportunity to switch difficulty levels. If you get stuck, you can switch the difficulty level to easy by opening the menu and clicking the difficulty option. Huh, interesting. In easy mode, the other characters will give you more hints. I might need that. However, once you switch the difficulty to easy, you can switch it back to hard until you finish that escape. I'm never going to be on hard mode. Never ever. <laughs> When you start over in a particular escape, to enter it for the first time, the difficulty level is automatically set to hard. Why? See me struggle? What's... How do I go to the menu again? Help. Huh. No idea. Uh... Menu is X. Hard, easy. Oh, it's either hard or easy, no normal. Alright, I guess we'll try hard. I'm gonna try it. We'll see. Oh, menu's right there, stupid. Okay. I wonder if I could just force it open. Yeah, I'm no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Hmm. I need to open up that fire extinguisher. My ankle is so itchy right now. Can I, like, push a button? Huh? Why did it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So, you think this button does something? I don't know. Let's take another look at it. I think, uh, number nine. Because it's the Nonary Games. 999. I'm gonna click them all and see what happens. Is there like a a certain uh, order that you have to do it? Oh, this is some kind of mouse icon. It's a rabbit. How many times do I have to tell you? I think there might be some kind of connection with that zero three guy we just saw. No, I think it's completely unrelated. Hmm. Okay. A bolt shaped like a pentagon. What's a bolt? It's hexagonal. Why am I telling you this? Can't you see it? The cover is fastened in place. Do I need like a tool or something? Why is this green? Why are these colored like this? Oh. Hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Oh, is this the screwdrivers for the little things right there? Let's see. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Probably the handle for some kind of tool. The grip is green. Alright, let's see if I could use it. It's called the item screen. While on the item screen, you can inspect items you've found and combine or hold them. To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon, which you can find in the top left corner of the screen. Okay, I think my face is covering it, but I can see. It's like a, a hand holding a... Oh, it's cool. It spins around in there. An item icon will show whatever item you are currently holding. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm not looking at the elevator door. I... No. N no. I want to go here. 
The handle you've got there is the same color as that bolt. Yeah. Well, okay. That's good. But what are you planning to do with it? Uh, take the bolt off, of course. With just the handle? Are you sure about this? No. I'm not going to be sure about anything. Can I do it anyway, even if she's yelling at me? So maybe I can't take the bolt off with just the handle. Why? Do I have to combine it with something? Where's the tab button? I don't even know what the buttons are on my computer. There's nothing... Huh. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna get the yellow one. Yellow. I'm guessing over here are the other ones. The grip is red. Okay, so I have to find something to combine them with, because clearly they're for the the things on the on the uh on the vent thing. Grip is blue. Okay. Can I look up? I can. It, okay, there's nothing to see up, I guess. This one has a picture of a grandpa. Me. <laughs> it's an icon of what looks like an old person. Hmm. What if I like... <laughs> that was silly of me. I was like, what if the old person one is the biggest number and the baby is the smallest number? The fire extinguisher is right here. Oh my good god. It's right there. Okay, there's a key. What do you think this means? Hell if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Oh, I gotta count them. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? No, I want to count it. Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items. Instead, they will be put in the file. To look at and review them, just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the tab called file. Okay, X is menu. Archive. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Sorry, my computer, my keyboard isn't lighting up, so it's hard to see all the things. Seven. Okay, it's hard to see the keys. I don't know why it's not lit up right now. It's usually purple. Baby. One, two, three, four. Nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? What? Uh, maybe I can use the key on this. Alright. Let's see if this pin can open the lock. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. What is this? Polly, you're... Poly polyurethane packaging? There are a few pieces of metal in there. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has a different shape, though. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Well, we might as well take them. Which one is this? Triangle. Combine it with the green one. Why? The triangle is green. Why? Okay. Why can't I combine those items? Excuse me? Do I have to put it on directly on here? Which one is this? Okay. Some items can be combined with others to make new items. To combine items, start by navigating the first item you want to combine. Then click the combine button. 
Once you've done that, navigate to the second item so that it appears to the right of the plus symbol. Then click the combine button again. Blah, 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 blah. Combine this with the red one. Okay. Which is this? Triangle is green. Why? Oh no, triangle's or yellow. Silly me. Silly goose me. My bad. I don't know why I was like, yeah, this is definitely green. I don't know why I associated green with triangle. Okay, and then this one is green. Okay. All right, that's the green bolt off. Yeah, good job. You're a regular mechanic. Uh, how do I look at my eye? Okay, why did I... I'm still trying to figure it out, okay? Uh, let's give the yellow one a twist. And then blue. Hmm. Looks like you got it off. Great. So I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What are you asking me for? Hey, okay. Jeez. What is that? No. <laughs> there are a number of mini games you will play during an escape. Oh, what a joy. Controls and rules will gen generally be given to you before a minigame begins, but some start without giving you detailed instructions. If you can't solve a minigame, just quit by clicking the back button in the bottom right corner of the minigame screen. If you keep trying, though, the other characters might start to give you hints. They'll only do so if you're playing in easy mode, though. So remember, if you get stuck on a minigame, give it several tries before you switch to the difficulty to easy. I'm gonna do that. What is this? It looks like some kind of maze. You think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. Alright. I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. Huh. Okay. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Okay. Oh, they move at the same time? I was just going to move them all wherever I wanted and just be done. Uh. Oh boy. Oh yay. What a fun time. like that they move at the same time throwing me off hmm. what the heck am i doing in there I need that in there huh oh no oh I did it 
<laughs> I felt so stupid. I did it. I don't know how I did it. Sweet. I did it. You're pretty good. Hmm. This is kid stuff. I could do it with my eyes closed. What a liar. I couldn't. That was so difficult. If that is the preface, the pretense for what's about to happen in this game, then I am doomed. Oh, look at this. Hmm? Something came out of the box. Oh, yeah. Is this a memory card? A green memory card, huh? Yeah. I got it from the maze. What? Huh? What did I use the memory card for? There's a little panel here with a keyhole. The opening in the center is covered with transparent plastic. A keyhole? Huh. There's nothing on it right now. Alright, I'm gonna look at the poster again of the life would infinitely life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80. Oh, I have to switch this. This is, uh, the baby is seven and the other one is four. This is seven and this is four. Hey, Sigma. Do you remember seeing a couple of dried up old farts in here somewhere? It's not very polite. You should have just called them old men or old women or something. Whatever. Do you remember anything? Yeah, that poster. It said... Why didn't that work? Did I count them wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven old people who were the babies. If you go by this at the bottom, gradually approach 18. Gradually approach 18. So then the babies are... The old people are who then? These people? The eight. What? Help me. One, two, three, four. Life would be infinitely happier if we could be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. One, two, three, four babies. That's four old people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven! Why is it not- why is nothing happening? Does it mean, just mean old people with a cane? <laughs> Could it? One, two, three? Three? Unless it, if it doesn't happen, I'll switch them. But then this would be, this might be a breach, but like a baby with a diaper on, a baby with clothes on. One, two, two. Does this count as clothes? Does a swaddle count as clothes? I have no clue. Not a clue. Oh, I could put this in this little green thing. I've got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Hey, it turned on. It looks like this thing is working now. Green is glowing with a strange light. Okay. That doesn't help me. I really can't figure out this baby old people thing. 
Am I stupid? I might have to switch it to easy because I need her help. Help me with this baby one. Not escape. Uh... If that just meant old people only with a cane. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> Unless the... Help. Me. Help. Me. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to do that. Nothing else in here? I'm just stupid. I might have to. I'm really... I'm struggling a little bit. Yes. Help me with this baby picture. What are you doing? There are still two open slots. Yeah, I know. I just need to put in more cards, right? Exactly. Hopefully that'll make something happen. Yeah, I figured that, but where do I find those? I'm guessing it's through the baby and the... Help me. Well, look at this control panel. You think it might be connected to how many old turds are on that poster? What did I just say? Fine, fine. Elderly ladies and gentlemen. Better? Hmm. So, am I just reading too much into it and it is just the old people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing's happening! Nothing happens. Help me. It's a baby. Hey, have you seen a baby in here? You just go goo goo. Sorry, another baby? Stop screwing around and think. Don't you remember seeing some babies? Hmm. This doesn't help me. I thought changing her to easy would she would give me some insightful things, but I one, two, three, four. Four babies. That's a toddler, that's a child. Child. Adult, adult. Then like what is the purpose of this? Life would be infinitely happier if we were born at eighty. Nothing's happening. Baby icon. Thanks. I thought it. Uh, she didn't help me at all whatsoever. Baby with a diaper on. One, two, three, four. But then you see this. Born at the age of eighty and gradually approach eighteen. But then would 18 be the end of your life? Or would the baby be the- I'm so confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? <laughs> huh? Crash the door down with a fire extinguisher. I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. The only thing that's going to get extinguished is you. Yeah, if I were really stuck in an escape room when I only had minutes, I would be screwed. I would die. Hey, come on now. That's scary. Got the hiccups now. That's great. I have to get a... What should I do here? How is that even a question? There's only one thing you can do with a keyhole. Press only in case of emergency buttons. I'm gonna push it. 
How could he push it? It's covered. Is he stupid? No good. Plastic is too thick. Hmm. Don't they usually make these things so you can break the cover in case of an emergency? Yeah, but this isn't exactly a usual situation. Ugh. That zero guy probably messed with it. There's a keyhole here. We probably have to unlock it before we can press the button. Okay, yeah, I, I meant to just click out. One bunny. What's the deal with this slit? You might... You mean slot, right? They're the same thing. What does it matter what we call it? It's a hole to put cards into. We don't know things go into it. Yeah, there's gonna be a little thing's gonna come out of it. But rock, paper, scissors, rock. <laughs> that one. That's not scissors. That's a rabbit. She's so helpful. Wow, I'm so glad she's my pair. Okay, um, I'm stupid. Um, I feel like a failure because I already had to look up the stupid poster solution because I can't, I can't get it. I don't know how long I've been sitting here trying to figure this out. It's, it's so much simpler than I was making it out to be. I didn't, this has nothing to do with anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven, four, and it's connected to the other panel. Four. It's connected, apparently, to here. How many rabbits in the poster? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just, I gotta tell myself, stop overthinking it and just, just do it. <laughs> hey, Sigma. Did you just hear that noise? What noise? Um, I think it was over here somewhere. Okay. I, I feel really, really... Um... Embarrassed that I had to already look up a, uh... A puzzle solution. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm not authentic. I'm not smart enough for this, apparently. I've got the blue memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Turn green. No. <laughs> what the heck is this? Maybe it's some kind of like password? A password? You got a notepad or something? Huh? Uh, no, not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? No. I couldn't even handle the counting old people and babies on a poster. So I kept overthinking it, and I didn't think that the rabbit was also connected. But I should have, because they were both blue little things with numbers. Like, that was stupid of me. Y yeah, of course. I'm always remembering stuff. I found an escape password. To view it, go to the archives. What? Sun, sun, moon? Okay, do I still need to find the red one? What do I do now? I what do, what do, what do I do? I have an escape password. What do I do? Cards in two of the slots, I can probably insert a third. Hmm. Where would I find the red one? Like, there's nothing else here other than this giant thing. Can I, like, look at the bottom of it instead of... I can. Oh my god. Not you! I don't want to look at you babies anymore. Sun, sun, moon. Square metal box. Looks like a safe. Yeah. I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. I don't know how I feel about her being our pair this entire time. She's not helpful. What else would you put in a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? 
A cracker. What the hell is so important about a cracker? Okay. How about a tie deposit box? Uh, a what? What does that even mean? You know what? I don't even blame him for getting mad at her. I'm mad at her now, too. Let's try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad on the front with a 3x3 grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Yeah, I know how to open it. Let's give it a shot. These safes have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll find a gold file. Huh. The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open this, the safe with the escape password. Yeah, I know the escape password. Oh, screw it. That's it, isn't it? No, why did you do that? <laughs> when you open the safe using the escape... Yeah, okay. Sun, sun, moon. Hello. View it. I do Why is it giving me this over and over? <laughs> this is how this game is gonna be, isn't it? Just me being angry and getting frustrated. Sun, sun, moon. I can do this. I can do this without getting angry. I can play this game and have no issue. I can do it. I can do it. You did it. Good job. <laughs> Piece of cake. Was it? Was it? Clearly not, because I'm stupid. Is this a key? Yeah, clearly. Uh, I'm, I'm frustrated with you now. Sorry. This is what happens when I play this game. Games like this. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're gonna do something. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Here goes. Stop talking and just do it. Uh, what's wrong with her? Is it unlocked? Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. Okay. Click. Click the button. Get me out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Get me out. Just do it. All right, all right. Jeez, message received. Here we go. Three, two, one. And push. Okay, I'm fine. I'm calm. I can play this game without getting angry. <laughs> oh. It opened a hatch in the ceiling? What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? You didn't look up once you were in the elevator? You found it, yay. I'm reminded I'm being reminded of the frustration I felt when playing 999. Alright, it's open. Now let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? I think... I think from here on... Because clearly I was just thinking too much about it. I, I do want to try to do the escapes in hard mode. I'm going to try not to have to look up how to get out. Like I had to just, uh, just now. I'm sorry I had to do that. I was literally just going in circles. I had no idea what to do. But... I just need to stop overthinking it, honestly. that That's my biggest problem. What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. You gotta help her up, genius. 
I guess it's a little high for you, huh? I'd say that that's at least six feet, maybe more. Okay, are you bragging that you are super duper tall? All right then, climb up on my shoulders. Your shoulders? Can he just? He put her feet in his hand and he just shoots her up. Yeah, that's right. It's weird because the protagonist doesn't have a voice. Whereas, like, Junpei had a voice. It would eventually, like, it would occasionally go away, like, during the escape room section segments. But this main character doesn't have a voice. Yeah, that's right. Something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh, come on. I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive, hand to God. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sam- Of course you are. Of course you want to get your face sandwiched be between a girl's bare thighs. Be honest. <sighs> I knew it. You sick bastard. I mean, she's kind of dull. She's dry like toast. I mean, she's just meh. Like, where's her personality other than just being dull? I... I was just kidding. Right. Look, I'm trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Fine. Step into his hand. On your knees. He's gonna step on his back? What? You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. Makes sense. Okay, I see what she's doing. I'm certainly not gonna give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. Oh. Okay. There. Ready. Bring it on. He's looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. What? Wait, what are you going to do? Oh, she's she's gonna walk on his back. Quiet. She's not gonna go on his shoulders. We go. What? <laughs> she can fly? How in the hell? All right, give me your hand. You're gonna lift him up? You strong enough to do that? What? Oh, uh. What the heck are you? Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. Are you Santa? <laughs> she she looks like Santa from 999, I'm sorry. I wonder if each of these characters has like some kind of resemblance to one of the original nine and i'm not batman or spider-man or aquaman or merman or a wolfman i'm not a brahmin or common or ramen i'm not a <laughs> caiman either so you don't really need to worry about anything i'm not ramen i can't why did i laugh at that my name is fi fi i guess you could say i am no man okay just come on. One of these days, Witch King. Alright. We escaped. Eventually. So we came in through a number nine. There's a number nine door. Do milkmen go comedy? What? Whoa. What's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. It's not. Because, like, I do believe in 999. They, it was believed, they made them believe they were on a boat, but they were actually in a building in the middle of a desert in Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how, like, the true ending was. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. So, we were in an elevator that doesn't elevate yeah it wasn't going to go anywhere when that rabbit said it was gonna fall he was just screwing with us so it would seem 
Yeah, because I took forever. It would have fallen. He only he said you have a few minutes. I took like 40. <laughs> then why? Forget it. Look. More people. There are people. Looks like an old guy, a young man, two girls, and... A kid? They're all wearing bracelets. Oh, if there's a kid here, we have to protect the kid. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here, too. Right. Well, let's go say hi, then. Okay, Lotus. She's, she reminds me of Lotus, however. She's also... And I only know this because I watched, like... I briefly watched a summary video about 999. But... Throughout the entirety of 999... There was, like, this story about the Titanic or the Gigantic. Which is the ship that they thought they were on the whole time. It's like the Titanic's twin or something. I don't... I don't remember. But... There was like a story about like this corpse that was on the ship and it was being transported and it was like frozen in time or something and apparently it, it was probably this girl or someone similar to this girl because then at the end you you could see this girl here this one she she was hitchhiking hitchhiking <laughs> hitchhiking on the side of the road so she Again, it makes me think that they're all somehow kind of connected. I do think this takes place like a year or so after 999. I don't remember which year 999 took place in, like 20, 2027 or something. And this is 2028. I don't remember exactly, but anyway, this girl is pretty much the character Lotus, let's be honest. But she, it's, she could also be like, an old Egyptian, I think it was Egyptian, an Egyptian queen who was, whose body was preserved and like she died, but she didn't really die. I don't, I can't remember the details of like the story about her, but I think this is her. Hey, hey there. You've got, any of you guys know what the hell's going on over here? No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed? Oh. Yeah. I got in my car, went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. If it is revealed at the end of this that Zero is a Kane again, I'm going to lose it. Like, I, I... Because the whole point of Zero in the last one was so that she wouldn't die in that inferno. And so that the Junpei from the future could save her in the past. Because they were both kind of connected through weird time loop things. Is this going to be, like, similar? Like... We're connected to somebody from the past. I'm, I'm thinking too much. It's still the beginning. I need to just stop and play the game. I think we all shared that particular experience. Akane? <sighs> the smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. The, um... She's very similar to uh, Akane's character. Uh, other than the hair color and stuff. But just, just the kind of vibe of her. She reminds me of her. All five of you were in one elevator? No. No. Except this. The kid, I don't think there was a kid last time. There wasn't. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait. Which one of you is Dio? That would be me. Okay. This little guy here is Quark. Quark? Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? 
Tenmi OG, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, you got it right. Oh, so are they bragging that they escaped by themselves without any help? Because that's offensive. <laughs> so, you'd be Tenmiuji, then, right, sir? Yep. And Alice is... Oh, Alice is the, the girl with um, her boobs out. Because Alice was the name of the preserved corpse on the gigantic. I have to rewatch... I I feel like now I have to rewatch a recap of that segment because when I was watching the recap, I skipped the segment about the girl, the the story of the the girl and the the ghost story or whatever it was because I was like that has nothing to do with anything and apparently it does. So I am boo 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 the fool. Me. She's Luna. Luna. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Um, hey. Nice to meet you too. Are we missing like two people? There's like, we're seven? Should there be two more? What's she so nervous about? And you are? Maybe, maybe she's just nervous around new people, okay? Don't judge her. Right, uh, I'm Sigma. And this bundle of laughs is Fi. Okay, Sigma. I mean, listen, I don't like, you know, I don't think, you know, I think she's dry too, but you, you gotta be a little nicer. Good to meet you all, I guess. I guess. Say that again. <laughs> and this malnourished harpy is Fi. Does, does Sigma, like, wanna die? Genuinely, like, if I were her, I'd kick him in the shin. Better. Bastard. He is kind of, he is kind of nasty. Like, I'm not going to lie. Sigma seems like he could be a jerk. Whereas, like, Junpei was different. Junpei was kind of like your average protagonist who's like, I want to help everybody and I want to solve the mystery and all these things gung-ho. This guy is a bit different. I don't know. I guess we'll see, uh, we'll see how, uh. How his character develops. Um, are you two? Huh. Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See your bracelet there? Okay. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. And yours? Fine, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. They're pairs too? That's why they were in the same elevator? Oh, we're all three, but they're blue and we're red. They both say pair, and have a number th and have a number three, just like Fi and I. No, wait, the color's different. Ours are red, and yours are blue. A little sharp eye there. <laughs> what about yours, uh, sir? And Miyoji, right? Hmm. Mm. Show him yours too, ladies. Oh. Oh, that's that's interesting. So they're all number three? How does that work? But three of them are solo. Four of them are part of a pair. Huh. Oh, red? Blue and green? They're different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? Figure what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. 
There's a green pair. There's two more people. Each pair got put in the same elevator. So the, we're waiting for two more people, the green pair. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... Are we gonna have to, like, decide if we want to team up with the solos? I don't- I don't get it. So, they got put in their own separate elevators. Hmm. Mm. Okay. That's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? You're playing a game here. You're- clearly, you're playing escape room games. You're gonna work in a pair with Santa over there, and they're gonna be solo. I mean, that's just my guess. I've got the foggiest idea. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Yeah, I'm wondering about that too. I'm wondering why. Why are they all the same number? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm calling it the Nonary Game. The Nonary Game. Epidex Audition. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing. Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehouse, the warehousey room we were in, and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try to open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Fi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... We'll give it a shot, why don't you? Is it, they're gonna put the bracelet to it. Put your bracelet to the sensor. Hmm. Looks like the force probably isn't going to work either. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that'd work anyway. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. Alright, well... How about those three doors over there? I told you already! <sighs> I'm getting, I'm getting sass from a kid. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. You sure about that? Why would I lie? You sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. I still- I feel like there are two more people who need to show up. The green pair. If there's also green. And also that would make nine of them. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is? I was the first to escape. Hmm. That means I know who was in which elevator. Interesting. Is there one that nobody's come out of? I watched all of you come out after all. And? Well, I was in the one third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah, so there's a there's another elevator. There's another pair of people who haven't come out yet. Third was Luna. I guess they're worse at the puzzle than I am. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. That's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's. Right? Yeah. We did. 
And finally, the two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Wait, then... Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. They're in there. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? <laughs> I like... I, I'm poking fun at it, but I'm actually enjoying this game. And I, I, I like the 3D models. I think it's pretty cool. Like, it's... It's very similar to 999 in its structure. But, like, seeing them as, like... 3D models is pretty cool. I wonder if there will be less, like, text when it comes to the action sequences, or if they're actually gonna, like, show it with the characters. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. I think they're in there. The green, the green pair. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Hey! Anybody in there? You can hear me, just... I don't know, make some noise. They probably can't. I'm sure it's soundproof. Because if it weren't, when we were in the elevator, we would have heard the others talking to each other. Nothing. Hey! Look at this! Ambidex. That means a pair isn't there. Ambidex room is that some kind of card reader maybe it unlocks it or something there's one next to each door what do you think ambidex room is supposed to mean well it says it on all six of the elevators interesting so it said it on the ones who are solo too maybe it has something to do with the game that zero was talking about Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. Anybody got a key card? <sighs> nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. Sorry. Got a text message. <laughs> I was listening to them. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well. But it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. No. There is. There's gotta be. What makes you so sure? Because that would make nine. Huh? Uh, well... Um... See, him saying something like that, being like, there has to be, there definitely is, and now he doesn't really know why he knows that, makes me think... Maybe he's involved somehow. And, like, he erased his own memory. I don't know. I really don't know. But something's weird about him, like, being adamant about, like, yes, there's definitely someone in there. Because maybe it's like, I know that because I helped design this game. But he just, just doesn't remember he did. What's that? Here they come. Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Two people. What the? Who the hell? Clover! Clover? Like... Like, actual Clover from 999 a year later. She's in this game again? Huh? What? How did she end up back here again? Clover. Are you okay? 
Clover! Wake up! What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Nothing. Nothing? She was like that when I woke up. Oh, so she never woke up at all? I really wouldn't worry now. She should be alright. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Who are you? Whoa. Hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box dressed like someone, some kind of robot, carrying an, uh, carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got our... What? Sorry, I'm gonna start again. I can't read. You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot, carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. We think you owe us an explanation, pal. I'm... Who am I? Huh. He doesn't remember. I wonder if she's Clover. My first thing would be like, that's Snake in there. But Snake died, I'm pretty sure. He died in the Inferno with, with Ace. Unless they were able to rescue him and he got burned so badly that he had to be put inside a robot and he can't remember who he is because of that. Is that a stretch? <laughs> What? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this, this, this robot suit? We can't even see your face. Are you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? I assume so. It could, I mean, if you think about it, it could be Snake. If he was rescued and he wasn't quite dead, but he was very badly burned, I could see them shoving him into the, the suit. He did have, um... He had a prosthetic arm, I believe. Was that the only part of him that was prosthetic, or was it more? I can't remember. But like, that's how he ended up out of his bracelet in the in the original Nonary game. Seems the most reasonable explanation. And when I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look. I mean, he's got a point there. That's an odd choice of words. <laughs> I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? Uh, you know what I meant, you smartass. <laughs> oh, here she oh. is. Is she gonna give me some explanation? She's waking up. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. How is... where are we? She has the same voice actor, right? She sounds familiar. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. Of course, she's stuck in a second one. What? Why she's smiling though? She's like, what? <laughs> no. no, that can't. What happened to her clothes? Why is she wearing so few clothes? That's not just what I want to know. <laughs> the blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? She knows everything. As Alice continued to console Clover. The rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? So when he woke up. He doesn't remember anything else other than waking up here. Did you not listen to a word he just said? 
When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. Well... Maybe he was... Maybe he was created by Clover as a... As a substitute for the brother that she lost. She, like, she kind of inserted his memories in there. That seems even more far-fetched than him still being alive after being burned to death. We asked him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood. But all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like... Language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with, um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Huh. <laughs> Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> Bro. He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. Of course it didn't. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make a sound make it sound like he was. A bullshit. This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm, like ours and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, his had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head, and my brain felt foggy and cluttered. Had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They had taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Well... Ooh. Oh, I thought the door opened. Damn it. No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, well, I just thought... There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Is it a scanner? Huh. Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See? On the wall? Oh yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. What? Two milkmen go comedy. That makes no sense. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians? Still just kind of sounds like nonsense though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. 
Like Tom Marvolo, Marvolo Riddle is I am Lord Voldemort kind of thing. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Yeah? Oh. Okay. If you switch it around... Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Oh, Zero's one of you, 100%. What? <laughs> okay. Huh? Look. Over there. Shame on you, Fido. Fido? Is that her name? You can't see what I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? <laughs> I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Yes, God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait. Then you're saying Zero is one of us? Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Wouldn't it be like, it could be AI, right? Smart AI. Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent. <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> that would be telling. Huh. Does... Does the rabbit know who Zero is, or does he just know that Zero is one of these people? Because even if they were created by Zero, it's possible that they don't know who it is, exactly. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. Just the facilitator for this facility. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> oh, the nonary game? Ambidex edition? Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. Oh man, poor Clover. She has to do this twice. It's supposed to be over. Wow. Why is she smiling like that, though? It's creepy. There she goes again. She knows something. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine, 
Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Yes. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. Nine is my favorite number. <laughs> After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. That's the escape door? If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. That's interesting. Because, like, it's the beginning, and they're already seeing the nine door, whereas in 999, they were searching for the number nine door the whole time. Only to find out that there were two of them, and they could all escape together, and no one had to die. One of those kinds of things. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? Oh, three, three, three is nine. So there's two set, three sets of pairs, the red, blue, and green, and there are three solos, red, blue, and green. So if you all work together, nine, nine, nine. They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. So the number on their bracelet could change? See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to 9 BP can pull that lever and the door will open. Greater than or equal to? So that means it could be more than 9? However, there are three rules you can't forget. No, oh, jeez. One, the number 9 door will only stay open for 9 seconds. When your time is up, it'll close automatically. So be careful. Two. The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you can get stuck. Wait, it only opens once? Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> you die. All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. Yeah, you die. What the hell does that mean? Down in front. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> um. Yes. Why did you start making rabbit puns? It's it's very uh, Monokuma esque. Rabbit puns and bear puns. Uh. Well. Um. <laughs> Cause I felt like it. <laughs> I thought it might make me sound cute. It, it, never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. Huh? You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> You mean through those hatches? No. No. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? So every time we go in there, it's going to be a different escape room? I live in the master computer. I don't get it. That means all the electronic doors in this cool warren are under my control. How do we get in then? 
You tried the doors on the front. They're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Oh, uh, uh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> chromatic doors? Right there! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Or What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? <laughs> I can't. I can't. It's like cork. What? That's not my name. That's not my name. Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Okay. <laughs> hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. We have ten minutes for what? Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! Oh, the numbers are going down. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So... That would mean this must be counting down to something, right? To ex we explode? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? Are we gonna explode? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Very impressive, Ten Mioli. Ten Mioli. I can't. I honestly, I think this zero is kind of funny. All right, let us review what we learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. I can't. The bunny puns are hilarious. I, I I'm simple. However. Just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. You have five minutes. Five minutes to what? Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. Wait, so you have five minutes to go in, and then what do you do in there? It closes and it locks you in? That's just the primary door. <laughs> Ah, uh, so there's- you go into the primary door, and then there's gonna be more and more and more doors in there, and rooms. What? Each door in this warren has a twin! Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too! <laughs> you couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course, you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Cleaver? Why are you asking me? <laughs> Cleaver, can you tell <laughs> I think it's funny. Also, why is Clover here again? This poor girl. Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. I wonder if this Zero knows that she's done this before. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Yeah. Red. Blue. Yellow. Well, y you mean red, green, and blue? Green is not a primary color, Clover. You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? Green's not primary, Clover. So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Green, the green is not a primary color. Green is a secondary color. It's red, blue, yellow. Red and blue make purple. How about yellow? 
green and red. Huh? What is this? Can someone explain to me what this is? Green is not a primary color. Wouldn't green and red make like brown, weird color? Dark green, super dark green. What if you wanted science? Blue and green. That's right! Stop. Green is not a primary color. Right? Am I wrong? Are they, are they really going to try to convince me that green is a primary color? It is not. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? I think you grab it. What? There is one other little thing, though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yeah. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open the door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Green's not a primary color. I'm sorry, it's the last blue time I'll say blue it. Blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Ten Mioli. But my brain feels like it's going to. Uh, just Talking about primary colors that don't exist. It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be single entity which means they share the same destiny oh so if Phi would die we would also die and vice versa isn't that a good deal i mean you get two for the price of one <laughs> unfortunately it also means they can't split up oh oh yeah i'm a little disappointed because like I mean, she's fine, I guess. Dry, but she's fine. But, like... I wanted to be able to explore with all the characters. Both members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. Jeez, that's harsh. And that means that they can go where. Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. We'll start with you, Siggy. Siggy? What color is your bracelet? Red. Are you a pair or a solo? A pair. Find is next. Tell us about your bracelet. Are we going over this again? It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, Alan? It's red, and I'm a solo. Yo, work. Blue, pear. <laughs> she, she called him Bo. <laughs> yeah, mine's the same. Sorry, right, I, I don't know the if, what, you know. I'm calling the rabbit. He, she, they. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. It could be any, right? Who cares? Weaver. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pair. Green solo. And finally, uh, who are you? Huh. 
So Zero doesn't know the masked guy? I'm... Uh... Let's see. I suppose you can call me... K. K? I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a... How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Okay, calm down, Dio. Like, relax. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, K? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear. And the text is green. Solving a puzzle. So, Siggy, what would you do to get through the magenta door? Well, Fi and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. So I could never work with these people who are also in pairs, like Clover and, and them. I can't, ever? That means you can't have two people, or four people, or, well, anything other than three, really. <laughs> then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. Pretty much. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. Cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, no, ah, wait for me! When the right people open the door, but if the primary door closes first, then that's impossible! You see, it all makes sense. And you might have run a hair too long in my explanation, but now I'm all done. Any questions? Yeah, maybe we should go back to preschool and learn about our primary colors? I'm sorry. It, it's grinding my gears. I took a moment to go over everything we'd learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number nine door. How do I open the, no the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet. But it looks like I'll have to head into the ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the ambidex room? I'll need a key card for that. Where is the key card? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I do to open the primary CD? Nothing, actually. Apparently, it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. How do I get through the secondary door? For starters, there's a limit to how many people can go in. Specifically, three people. If combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors with that color's complementary color. Matching. Red and blue is magenta. Green and red is yellow. In what world? Blue and green, cyan. Complimentary. Red and red, cyan. Blue and blue, yellow. Green and green, magenta. Good? Excellent. It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay! Huh? No, wait. We have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And who the hell is the real Zero?
Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. <laughs> if you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. <laughs> I'm a rabbit. Oh. I have a soft spot for rabbits. I really... I won't be able to, to hurt the rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. <laughs> Why is that? Because you'll explode. When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... Explode? They'll what? They'll be penalized. Oh, that voice. Whoever this voice actor is, is crazy. Like, they've they've had, like, three or four different types of voices they could do. It's crazy. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well... <sighs> Death! Death! Oh no, who could have seen this coming? Your bracelets contain two drugs. This is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. Oh, interesting. This time it's a, a poison type of thing. Whereas in 999, they just exploded. There was a bomb in the bracelet. Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. Oh my god. What? First is the silver rail, which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tubocurarine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the silver rail is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. <laughs> Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? Mm. If I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously. So, hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. He's the. I'm sorry, but like this voice actor is great. Like, their range is. It's crazy. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. <laughs> Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have a nice trap! So there was poison in the bracelet. It seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer-generated rabbit say either way. What were we going to do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. I know, I know. But I've been playing for a lot longer than I thought I would. I actually had only planned for each part of this game to be an hour, but I've already been playing for more than two hours. Um, but I feel like that that's the intros are usually like kind of they're longer. You got to explain things. I think I understand it. Um, I don't hate the game. I, I'm enjoying it so far, even though um, they said green is a primary color. <laughs> um, but yeah i'm going to wrap up this part here i think it's a good place to stop and we will pick it up next time where we're going to decide which which chromatic door we're going to go in i don't know yet i don't know which one i want to choose who i want to work with um i don't know not a clue but yeah i don't know what to expect i don't know who zero is 
I don't want to be suspicious of Luna just because she looks like a Kane. That would be silly. I want to know why Clover is here, what she remembers, what happened after the last Nonary Games. Where is where are all the everyone she escaped with? I want to know. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to my ramblings. And please forgive me for being stupid in the escape room. I will try better next time. <laughs> But anyway, yes, thank you so much, and I will see you in part two. Bye-bye.